Well, the ground is still blanketed in snow, but one Lincoln Middle School is taking advantage of it. Yeah, this week, Leffler Middle School was taking the uh, eighth graders outside for PE. New at 6, Channel 8, Eyewitness News reporter Alden German trekked through the snow to see how they're doing. This historic winter is not stopping students at Leffler Middle School from getting outside and being engaged. They are doing cross-country skiing as a new activity to show students that you can be active in very cold and snowy weather. Eighth graders at Leffler Middle School braved the cold and went outside for PE this week. With so much snow on the ground, the school decided to try something different to keep students moving. There was a teacher about 20 years ago that did it, and I thought with all the snow, it'd be a great chance for us to get outside and have the experience cross-country skiing. The skis were rented from UNL, and students have taken full advantage of being able to go outside. They learned the basics, how to properly lace up, take on and off the skis, and how to maneuver. Keep your nose in between your skis, uh, get down in a position uh, like your shoulders for in front, uh, and step, step, glide, he says. <laughs> um, we talk about it's winter time, but it's still we can go outside and have fun, whether we're skiing or sledding or just being out in the snow. So it was a good experience for him. This week was the first time many students have ever skied. Despite occasionally falling down, students wasted no time trying to get back up to hit the slopes or take a stroll. I don't know how they do it, uh, like for long distances. For doing it just the short amount of time, my arms got really tired. Students have had so much fun with this that the school district is now considering buying a set of cross-country skis to use, hopefully, in the future, of course, if there's enough snow on the ground. Reporting in Lincoln, Alden German, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. All right, looks like he's having fun. Thank you, Alden.